Hey everybody, this is Brian from Collecting Concepts. We are back with another box of uh, 1985 Garbage Pail Kids Series 1, the original. As you can see, this box has been uh, sealed and authenticated by Steve Hart at the Baseball Card Exchange. So for those of you who are watching our previous videos and know that we bought a, uh, a resealed box, um, this time when we bought this one, we sent it right over to Steve and had him authenticate it. Uh, before actually opening the packs and figuring that out on, out on our own. So this one we know is 100% good. He even remarked that it was uh, one of the nicer boxes he'd seen and uh, would be a prime candidate to open because it didn't look like it had been shipped around the country uh, for the last uh, 30 years. So anyway, here we go. Seal's been officially broken. Alright, there you can see all the nice fresh packs. And we're just gonna take out each each row, make it easier to open. box is, uh, is in good shape, so we can actually sell that. That's uh, definitely collectible, as will be the wrappers. So, all right. There we go. Definitely not 25 cents anymore, unfortunately. I do remember going down to the store and buying these things as a kid. This is about my, one of my few Guilty pleasures is getting to open one, open these boxes. I never really go for the new stuff. This stuff is much funner. So, the wrappers are nice, are collectible, so we're going to be careful and make sure we don't uh, rip those as best we can. And all right, looks like it's going to be a matte back box. Would have been a glossy box. Would have been a nice, uh, a nice touch. But what are you going to do? <clears throat> Um, looks like unfortunately we got some gum damage there. Hopefully that's not the same on all the packs, but it probably will be, unfortunately. All right. Looney Lenny, Potty Scotty, Cranky Frankie, Spacey Stacy, Nerdy Norm. At least that one's decently centered. The other one's marginal. All right. Uh, we're going to move around, try another one from another side. I always like to test the box out, see if these things are uh, coming out centered or if they're all over the map. If they uh, are consistently coming out off centered, then we will not be opening up the entire box. But trust me, I would much prefer to open the box. All right, Junk Food John, it's decent. Creepy Carol, looks good. Rock and Robert, not bad. Dead Ted, Lil O.C., and New Wave Dave. And the Dead Ted is the checklist back. All right, keep those guys in order. Try one from the top right. As you can see, the one of the telltale signs, if you <clears throat> ever come across these packs, as you can see right here are the roller marks from uh, the Topps factory of wax. So the, the rollers would go over and seal the packs with wax and what you see a lot of the times. The Garbage Pail Kids is one of the most resealed and tampered uh, products out there that I've come across. Um, a lot of people will take these things and they'll iron them shut, believe it or not. And uh, But when you see that, the 
whole back will be smeared through. It will not have this uh, roller mark on the back. So that's that's one way. Now there's plenty of people who are aware that the roller mark should be there. So there's other shenanigans they can do to to reseal them. But you know that's the that's the first first way to look. You know the easiest way to check right away. And then just another another word from the wise is you will never have glossy and matte back cards in the same pack. It's going to be all or in the same box even. It's going to be all or nothing. Uh, one way or the other. So if you get if you get both, then the box has been um, tampered with in some way. If they're both in the same pack, then they've definitely been resealed. Or if you're getting different packs with different cards, then uh, the box was pieced together from loose packs. All right, so we got Rundown Rota. <clears throat> Virus Iris looks pretty good. Uh, Melton Melissa is pretty solid. Thin Lynn. No complaints. Nerdy Norm. Not bad. A little OC. Might get a 9 though. Alright. Actually not, not bad so far. Well, let's try the uh, the last row. Looks like we're getting looks like we're getting gum damage on these on these cards the back cards unfortunately evil eddie how's that guy look nice that's nice and centered that's a good one all right it's a bomb i think it's a bomb nice and that bomb looks nice and centered all right i think we've got a winner box here it's a hell of a lot better than the last one that we opened mean gene another good one all right Definitely liking what I see so far. All right, so back down to this row. All right, there we go. Either a bomb or a billy right on the bottom. Oops. And billy. All right. How's a billy look? Not bad. A little off center top to bottom, but still good enough for a nine. Milly Chili, Furry Fran, TV Stevie, and my favorite card, Fry and Brian. All right. Uh, what the hell? Let's just go row to row, or column to column, I should say. Oops. Still gum damage. All right. Now we got Brainy Janie, JDK, Checklist Back, Graffiti Petey, Looney Lenny, and Potty Scotty. Not bad. A couple, a couple decent centered ones in here. JDK is pretty solid. All right. There's the easiest card in the set, Cranky Frankie, white bordered. Got some uh, wax on the front. Spacey Stacy, not bad. Nerdy Norm, OC. Prayer uh, Chris, OC, top to bottom. And Savage Stewart, off centered. All right, marginal pack. It's amazing how much these boxes have gone up in value over the past few years. I remember not that long ago, probably three, four years, these things were 400 bucks a box. And uh, now they're selling for over 3000 It's pretty incredible. All right, Ted, Ted, Rockin' Robin, Robert. All right, pretty good. Yeah, we have 
Dave. Yeah, nice, good run of center cards there. Checklist back. All right. Yeah, decent, decently centered. Not great, but it's all right. Vicky, Uzi, Stoozy, Thin Lynn looks nice and centered. Fat Matt, pretty solid. And Chili Millie, nicely centered, but we'll have the gum stain on the back. Awesome. It's always a crapshoot if you're going to get them with the, the gum stain on the back. Surprising that even this one that, uh, according to Steve, didn't, didn't move around much and probably wasn't exposed to the elements still has the, uh, the gum stain on the back. Too bad. So that just means we paid a lot more for the box since we basically have 48 packs or 48 cards that uh, aren't worth a whole heck of a lot. Alright, Mount Melissa, LOC. Not bad, Spacey Stacy. Nerdy Norm was pretty good. Corey Carl, yeah. good centered pack, except again, gum stain. Just think, back in '85, you could have bought these boxes at full retail for 12 bucks a piece. Not a, not a bad return on your investment. Investment if you happen to have the foresight or just flat out got lucky. So I don't think anybody would have predicted that for these things back then, that's for sure. All right. Well, back then everybody was a lot more concerned with Kirby Puckett, Roger Clemens rookies, McGuire of course. Not as much on the Garbage Pail Kids. But that's why they're worth money. And the good thing about Garbage Pill Kids, unless, unlike most of the guys from that era, they couldn't take steroids and destroy the value of their uh, cards. So that's nice. Beautiful showers, all those C. Green Jean. Oh, looks like we've got a bomb or a billy. Yeah, it's a Billy. A little OC top to bottom, but not terrible. Still have not seen a uh, Nasty Nick, which is the most valuable card in the set. It's the number one card, number one A. Number one cards are always worth the most. They're typically worth the most, uh, especially when you get uh, older stuff because people used to uh, keep these things with tied with rubber bands and the number one card would always get the worst of the rubber band damage, of course. And Drunk Ken, not bad, looking pretty centered. And Dressy Jesse. Flat Pat. Oh, that's 
pretty solid. Sicky Vicky. Oh, Melissa, little C, not bad. Still a nine. Ash can Andy, decent. Nervous Rex, it's another tough one. This one seems to have a lot of print defects a lot of the time. Drunk, nope. Ray DK, not drunk food drone. We'll see. Might have to might have to try a piece of 30-year-old gum here in a little bit. Not really sure why, but what the hell, I'm a glutton for punishment. Alright. Gary, Leaky Lou, Maggie Maggie, and Mel Paul. Mad Mike looks pretty good. Richie Richie's man, not terrible. And Vicky Dan, not bad. Stinky Stan looks nice and centered. And Booze and Bruce looks good, but as we know, the gun stain. Looks like we got another uh, another one of my favorite cards, either the Frying Brian or Electric Bill. It's kind of ironic since that's my dad's name, Electric Bill. There's Bill. All right, how'd we do? Yeah, looks pretty good, nice and centered. This is another one that's got a lot of print dots up in here a lot of the time. This one looks good though. Maggie Maggie looks solid. Old Paul, another good one. April showers, yeah, you know, not terrible. And the gum card. Looks like a lot of these have the uh, wax on the front, but we can easily get rid of that. You just take a little piece of uh, nylon legging, sock, or watch, uh, lens cleaner, lens cloth, and uh, carefully rub it off. It'll come right out. There's another Billy. A little OC, but still good enough for a nine. Tommy Tim looks good. Right. Let's look a little OC. Carries okay. As you can see, a lot of these things tend to come a little miscut. You can see they flare out here a little bit. Kind of get a fat part of the border up on top. Again, they uh, didn't do a lot of quality control on these since it was, you know, just for kids. And back then, nobody cared about that stuff. Oops. Oh, 
that. Sticky zicky. Easy stizzy. Yeah, like that. Alright, still no nick. Still waiting for the first nick. So it's a it's an eighty eight card set. You got forty eight packs. You get uh, five cards per pack. So we're looking at uh, two hundred and forty cards. You should get almost three complete sets in a perfect world. So it's a little strange that we haven't come across a nick yet. Stevie, there we go. Off center though. Yeah, looks like there's a. Uh, that might be a Nick, either a Nick or an Eddie. We don't care about that one. What do we got? There, we finally got one. All right, how's it look? Uh, not great, but not perfect. For, uh, yeah. All right, whatever. We're on the board. And another Billy. Yeah, not, not terrible. Not quite ready to try one yet. I'll get there towards the end because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to spit that thing out pretty dang quick. All right, and a banana, not bad. Dead Ted, Ward back. Pretty centered pack overall. Looking good. Very good. Maybe a touch off top to bottom, but not bad at all. Up in the roof and up chuck. Pretty 
good. Drunk Ken. Richie Richie. Drippy Dan. Yeah. Another few centered ones in there. Looks like we got another bomb or Billy coming up. Another bomb. Uh, let's see. But seen a lot worse, that's for sure. Of course, the centered one is the up truck that's going to have the wax stain or the gum stain on the back. Oh well. Slimy Sam looks pretty good. Guillotina looks solid. Finland, of course, looks good with the gum stain. Checklist back. Oh well. Right. Either another Bill or Brian. What do we got? Sorry, everybody. Phone managed to uh, run out of storage, of course, right in the middle of the shoot. <clears throat> so I had to delete a crap load of pictures and videos. Anyway, we're back. Got about 12 packs to go. Harry Mary looks good. Alright. Alright. That's, uh, yeah, we're at 10 packs to go now. Home stretch. Still only have the one Nick. Better be at least one more in here. Just as I say, Eddie or Nick? Eddie. Yeah. Not terrible. Bomb. Yep, another bomb. OC though. All right. Bridget Bridget. Gary Mary. Geeky Gary. There we go, another bill. Oh, 
drunk Ken looks pretty solid. Dressy Jesse, little OC. And Lizard Liz, not bad. Joel Joel looks okay. Ray K a little off top to bottom, but not bad. Scary Carrie. Alright. Oh, there's there we go. Either an Eddie or a Nick. What do we got? What do we got? Looks like it's centered left to right. It's a good start. No, of course, it's not top to bottom, and it's an Eddie, so, all right. What do we got? Bomb, Billy. Right. Billy's not bad, a little off top to bottom, but pretty good overall. Joel and Joe. Even Steven. And Kim Kong. All right. Drunk Ken. I feel like we've got a bunch of those. Uh, Dressy Jesse looks good. Lizard Liz, a little off. Cindy Lopper. And Boney Joni. Alright, there you see. We're at the bottom of the box. Three packs. Nervous Rex looks pretty good. Greater Chris looks good. Savage Stewart, not bad. Bug Burt looks good. That's a good pack. And fortunately, the most off center card is the one with the gum stain. So we got lucky there. Two packs to go. Still need that Nick. Well, looks like it might be back there. <clears throat> and damn it, another Eddie. Hmm. Oh well, what are you gonna do? And a Billy. Last pack. There we go. I'm going to get five Nicks in here. Just watch. <laughs> Probably jinxed myself by saying that anyway. There we go. Savage Stewart looks centered and good. Bug Burt, like the pack we just had. All right. No Nick, but that's it. I'd say it's a pretty solid box overall. We got a lot of centered cards in there. It's gonna be should be a good amount of tens. Uh, we should get a good chunk of nines as well, <clears throat> and you know the usual sevens and below. After that, for the ones that are way OC or uh, have the gum stain. So, oops, there you go. That's what one box of cards looks like nice and fluffy though all right what the hell let's try this piece of gum oh wow nice and crunchy yeah all right that tastes terrible Ugh. That's just sugar in my mouth. Ugh. 
All right, I'm going to go spit this out. See you guys later.